Divine Red University president says the university has not been getting support from the government. They were supposed to get over a 13 million kina from the government, but received only 1 million kina this year. The university needs at least a 3 million kina to run its operations on a monthly basis. What we're going to have to do from now on is to borrow money uh, each month in order to keep going, in order to have the cash to be able to keep going, say for August. Then at the end of August, we'll have to see what we have to borrow in order to get it through September to pay for the mass, power, light, wages, that sort of thing. And so we're going to have to go month by month now to try to make it through to the end of the year by borrowing. And when, as you know, when you borrow money, you've got to pay it back. Father Phillips says the University Council has decided to increase the fees because the cost of living has also gone up. Also, the current fee students are paying is subsidized fees, meaning at the moment students are paying 10,000 kina per year when it is really costing the university 25,000 kina annually for a student. We charge them 10,000, but we find somewhere money to cover the other 15,000. For MBBS students, the, the doctoral students, it's costing over 50,000 kina per student for the uh, tuition, for accommodation, food and the different other things, uh, the costs. Uh, uh, the IT, the, uh, the lighting, the power, the water and so on. So it costs over 50,000 kina for a medical student. We're going, we at the moment are charging them 12,000, we're going to charge them 18,000. But still, we're subsidizing about 30,000 kina. The university is finding some money to just subsidize it. Well, our means of subsidies, finding subsidies has gone down. The president because... also pointed out that the university has not received from ECAS and TESA's government scholarships. The university is now looking at shortening the school year by a few weeks to save money. However, the school may start to borrow money in order to keep the school going. And the, and the government is... Uh, normally supposed to um, subsidize us 13 million, 13.5 million. This year they've given us 1 million. That's all we've received so far. The president denied any rumors of the university threatening to terminate students if they speak out on issues concerning the university. I deny that. Um, I think uh, everyone has a right to, um, to protest. Everyone has a right to say what they think is true. So it's, uh, that's, um, that's not true. Martha Luis, National MTV News, Medang.